Sovasya Shubha Kangshaha. So happy Makar Sankranti. In fact, today we're going to study a very important sutram. So to, today we have a, a, a Samhurtaha. So, okay, let us start with Mangalacharan. Ramo Rajamanis Sada Vijayate, Ramam Ramesham Vijay, Rame Nabhyata Nishachara Chamu, Rama Yatasmai Namaha, Rama Nasti Parayanam Parataram, Rama Sada Sosmyaham, Rame Chittale Sada Bhotume Bho Rama Mamudhara, Rama Rame Ti Rame Ti Rame Rame Rapmano Rame, Sahasanam Tatulyam Rama Nama Varanane, Shri Rama Nama Varanana On Nama Iti. अतः श्री माहेश्वर सूत्राणि अ इ अन्य रुलरक ए ओंग आई आउच आयावरक लन्न अन्यमंग न नम जबाइंग घरदश जबागरदश कपा चाचा चा चाचा सब कपाई शा शा सर हल इति माहेश्वर सूत्राणि अगेन टुडे इस मकर संक्रांति मकर संक्रांतम so, happy Makar Sankranti. So, last time we were, as our usual announcements is, first of all, thank you to Kumudji and Radha and Yulia and Ravi and Kalpesh and others who are working in the background. And also, anything we say in the class is only vichara mulam natu siddhanta rupam. It has to be investigated and checked out in the Ashtadhyayi or the Siddhanta Kaumadi or the Mahabhasham, you know, Shishta Vachanani. Okay, so last time we were looking at, we finished with this Vartikam, a little bit running out of time, so I just want to go through it one more time. Rudupadebhyo litaha kittam gunat puru vipprati shedhena. Okay, looking at this example for dhatu in the Atman Ipadam, this dhatu vrittu vartane, is the Atman Epadi Dhatu. How do we know that? If you look at the Dhatu number 1.862, 1.862, if you look at that, the Dhatu Pata, it is Anudatta Gnita Atman Epadam, Anudatta Gnita Atman Epadam. So that's, as per that, we have to use a Atman Epadam Pratyaha. So it will be down here, Rutu Vartane. Rutu Vartane, you can see that over here, is the It. As anudatta swaraha. So we got atmanipadam. So then, as we see, always the first three steps are the same. In fact, the first four steps are always the same. By now, I hope you are recognizing them and they are easy for you. Lakaraha is firstly by parokshelit. Anubandha lopaha, la avashishyate, lakaro avashishyate. And then, tiptashji, autsargika pratyaha, bring in the default pratyaha. And because this is Pratham Purusha Yekavachanam. And then we inspect the remaining of 3.4 to see if there's going to be any parivartanam. Pratya parivartanam. So, Visheshataha, Lakara Sammandi Karyani. So, any Lakara Sammandi Karyam if you have. So, here we get Litas Tajayo Reshiresh, which we did last time in the class. Anekarch is Sarvasya. And therefore, we got the and of course Anubandha Lopaha, we got Vrit A. At that point we did Vishri Dhatul Anabhyasasya Abhyasa Karyam, Vrit A. And also here we remind ourselves that at this position when we had Vrit plus A, we would have had Puganta Laghupatasya Jai is coming, but that has to wait because of Dirvachanechi. We see this in the daily examples. As I mentioned to you in every class, the backbone of these classes are the daily examples. We can we have only the class twice a month, so we cannot do everything in the class. You get the daily examples, you know, almost every day. So please follow these, and here you will see that you know we are putting the note in almost every example for the lit pragaha of the durvachanechi. When the duplication is yet to be done, the adesha will not, which is shall not be made in the place of a wall, on the base of a on, on the basis of a wall, that is the cause of abhyasa. So what do you have right now? We have vrit vrit plus a is what we have. Vrit plus a. This a karaha is a is is a in came in place of lit. So because of liti dhatur and abhyasa six one eight. So the a karaha is the nimittam for the abhyasa. 
and based on that ekarha which of course is a sanya of ardhadhatukam because of licha we we are looking to do a guna adesha by puganta lagupatasya cha that sutram has anuvritti of sarvadhatuka ardhadhatuka yoho so this ekarha dvitanamittakaha ach it's also it is the basis for the uh, ajadesha which is the um, rukarasthane guna adesha so that has to wait dvitve kartavye so we first we do abhyasa karyam so by 1159 dirvachane chi that guna adesha has to wait till we do the abhyasa karyam and then um, what we do is that we applied applied urat in the abhyasa bhaga guru varana takes the akara adesha uran raparaha haladishesha we got vrut a now abhyasa has been done remember we we made the pugant lagu patasya wait until abhyasa is done now abhyasa has already been done so now what we do is that we we have to now deal with pugant lagu patasya but we don't want pugant lagu patasya tena anishtam rupam syat we get a wrong form by that so what so then what we have to do is that we know the sutram which is asanyoga litkita asanyoga litkita which we have been which we uh, introduced in the last class asanyoga litkita asanyoga litkita which is look at the numbers 1 to 5 which we already been used many times in daily examples already it is right after the sutram which is sarvadhatikam apit the sarvadhatikam apit then comes a sanyoga litkit so uh, apit litkit syat sanyoga apit litkit syat so by that the ekara vikit but now what happens is that dipuganta lagupata sicha is a parakaryam this we did, we did this all in the last class towards the end is running out of time doing it again in about 5 minutes here so the puganta lagupata sthiti is parakaryam and then we have this paribhasha which also we have seen purva para nitya antaranga apavadanam uttarottaram baliya so we have a choice when there is a competition between two rules to apply we use this we use this priority set of priorities is that first purva para means that a para karyam ashtadhyayi has greater force than a, than a purva karyam means a later sutra in the ashtadhyayi will have precedence will take precedence will apply first then nitya but if there is one rule one sutra is nityam it applies invariably it applies regardless of the other then that nitya karyam has if one is nityam one is anityam the nityam will have greater force even if it is purva karyam so one more time nityam has greater force than para karyam in antarangam which is an internal operation will have greater force than both the nitya karyam and para karyam and of course apavada has the greatest force apavada applies in the sub domain of the utsarga that has to be given precedence if you don't give the apavada a chance it will not apply anywhere so apavada has top priority then comes antarangam then comes nitya karyam and then para karyam so right now what are we having we are having asanyoga litkit which is 1 to 5 that will make the ekaraha as a kit pratyaha and following that we will use kintiya 115 to stop puganta lagu patasya cha but puganta lagu patasya cha is para karyam it is 7386 compared to 1 So now Puganta Lagu Patasthiti is taking a claim to apply before one to five. Okay. Now how about Nitya Nitya? What happens there? Can we apply? Let's say we apply Puganta Lagu Patasthiti first. What will happen? We'll get the Guna Adesha. The Rikara will become Akara, and then Uran Raparaha immediately. So we'll have Va Varta. Va Varta. if we apply as one more time if we apply if we apply puganta lagu patasya cha first we'll end up with va vart a now what will happen is that when you have va vart a is a sanyogantam angam so 1 to 5 which is a sanyoga litkit cannot apply okay what if we do the other way what if we apply a sanyoga litkit first then the ekara becomes kit and then by 115 kritcha we will stop puganta lagupatasya so either way one will cancel the other 
Do you follow that? One cancel. If we apply 7386, we'll get a Sanyogantam Angam. Then we cannot apply 125. If we apply 125 first, then one then 115 will stop 7386. So now, so neither of them is a Nityakarim related to the other. So, and so if we just use this Paribhasha, we would have to use the Parakaryam only because none of them, neither of these, neither of them is Nityam relative to the other. So we have to then, when we have to then go down to the Parakaryam. And that would be Ruganta Lagupada Sitch. If you give us the wrong form, that is why we need the Vartikam. We need the Vartikam because of otherwise, Parakaryam would have been applied because none of them is Nityam relative to the other. So we would have, we would have, we would have, we would have had to apply. 7386. So to stop that, we get the Vartikam. The Vartikam says, Rudupadebhyo Litaha. Rudupadebhyo. So if you have a Litpratyaha, <coughs> which is following an Angam, which is having Rukara as the Upadha, penultimate. What do we have right now? We have Vrit, verb Vrit A. Rukara is a penultimate letter. Upadha is penultimate letter. So Rudupadebhyo, Litaha, Kitvam. So lit pratyag is kittvam gunat. So even before doing the guna adeshaha by Pugandala Gupasya. So basically the kittvam takes priority. Puru Vipratishedana Purva Vipratishedha. Purva Vipratishedhana means even though even though one, two, five, asan yoga lit is a purva karibana it will take precedence in this case because of the vartikam. So now we we get so we have so one more time we need this vartikam because otherwise none of them is nitya related to the other so the parakaram 7386 would have applied giving us a wrong form therefore we need the vartikam to tell us that kitvam has to take precedence over the gunadesha in the case where lit pratya follows the angam which has the rakara as the upadha so then what happens is that so if you read the note over here. Is when Asanyoga, Lipkit, and Puganda Lipupatasitcha are simultaneously applicable in the situation where Lit Pratya follows a dhatu that is Rikara as a penultimate letter, then 1, 2, 5, even though an earlier rule, even though Purvakara, this was meant by Purva Vipati Shedhena, shall prevail over 7, 3, 8, 6. Now the thing is that why only, why only Rudhupada Ebhya only? Why only Rudhupada Ebhya? What about if the Upada is Ikara or Ukara? What happens there? We don't, need, we don't need the Vartikam at that time. Do we need the Vartikam only when the Upada is Rukara? Why is that? It's because I put the note over here. It, this Vartikam is required only in the case of Rukara as Upadha. If the, in the case where even Ikara or Ukara is Upadha, then there's no Vartikam required. Why is that? Because in those cases, 1, 2, 5 is a Nitya Karyam. Because even if you do Guna Adesha, the ikara becomes the ekaraha or the ukara becomes the okaraha, still asya yuga litkit will apply anyway. So in the case where the ikara is upadha or the ukara is upadha, the one two five asya yuga litkit is a nitya karyam. It, 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 applies, it applies regardless of 7386. What happens when you have rukara upadha because of the urandra paraha? That Repha comes there and makes the Angam a Sanyogantamangam. Sanyogantamangam. So that is why we had the problem. Only when this is Rukara is Upadha. Because of Urandra Paraha, the Angam ends up being a Sanyogantamangam after Pugantala Gupata Sitcha. That's why the Vartikam is required. Because then 1, 2, 5 is no longer Nitya Karyam. If the Upadha is Ikara, or a ukaraha, even after doing guna, we can still apply asin yoga likit. There's no urandapara. Of course, urandapara only applies when you have a ruvarna. So when ikara upadha, ukara upadha, there's no problem because 1, 2, 5 is a nitya karyam. So right here, pura para nitya. So nitya will have higher priority than para. So the vartikam is not required when you have the ikara or ukara as the upadha. So we were, this is where we were last time, and then we did the form. Of course, then we, as for the vartikam, we applied one two five, it became a kit pratyaha, and then we start pugantala gupata sicha, and we got babrute. Similarly, babrute re the pratyaha becomes ire by litas tajyo re shire that ire, so the j becomes ire 
So just in a Adesha, as I said to you many, 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 many times, the 3478 is only a default rule. Please do not treat it as a single rule. We have to check remaining of 3.4 to see if any, and in this case, the J becomes Ire, and of course, Anekachi Sarva Sivikit Babrutire by the same steps. Now, one more very important comment I would like to make here before the next sutram is the if you use lit pratyaha in a karmani prayoga, in a passive lit prayoga. Remember when we use lit with the karmani prayoga before, for example, simple example, Ramaha Sitam Pashyati. In Ramena Sita Drishyate. Ra, Sita is seen by Rama. Now Drishyate we get because we used the sutram Sarvadhatuke Yak. Sarvadhatuke Yak. Because when we when we when we when we because when we when we say drishyate, we have dhatu drish plus ta and by tingchit sarvadhatukam. The ta pratya got the sanya of sarvadhatukam. But remember, when we add a lit pratyaha in place of lit, tiptasji comes in place of lit, it does not get sanya of sarvadhatukam, sanya it gets a sanya of ardhatukam by lit. Three, four, one, one, five. Never forget lit. So, so tibadeya, so lita lit lita adesha. So, if you look at um, the vritti which we use sutram litcha, the tip etc. So, if you look at the by the way, this is a good time. Today is Makar Sankranti. So, let me show this something special which Kalpesh and Ravi have built for us. It's a very nice thing. This is the same ashtadhyay which we use here. Now, we're going to have our own uh, pages and comments right here in the ashtadhyay. So, for, let's take this on this auspicious day. Let us let me show you how this works. So if you take any sutram, right now let's look at Litcha. Litcha. So Litcha Sutram when we take, we can um, is three four one one five. So so Litcha Sutram three four one one five uh, makes the tip except which came in place of lit to get the sanya of to come Litcha Litcha Sutram. So here we have Lidade Shah so then what happens is that so here we're going to have um, we can all, we can edit all of these now and correct mistakes we can also put our notes at the bottom here of course this will take a lot of work to get this website up to speed but at least we have the framework now so so because we have we have the prakramanam prakramanam <laughs> we made the start in get this thing ashtadhyayi going so good thing is we can edit these now and we can put our own notes and do all kinds of very nice things here. So coming back to the passive, because of litcha, when we use in the passive, we can take an example, dadrishe. If you use the for example, Hanuman Sitam Dadarsha. Hanuman saw Sita. It's a Kati Pragaha. When you make it karmani, it'll be Hanumata Sita Dadrishe. Dadrishe. Now why not start with Hatuke Yak here also? Because as I just told you, when you bring tiptaji, in this case the pratyaya, pratyaya was te, in the place of lit, it does not get the sanya of sarvadha to come, it gets the sanya of ardha to come. And sarvadha to ke yak is 3167. So the yak cannot come unless it is followed by a pratyaya which has sanya of, unless is a pratyaya which has a sanya of sarvadhatukam follows. So basically, bottom line is that when you use lit in karmani prayogaha, there is no yak pratyaya because the 34115 litcha gives a sanya of ardhatukam pratyaya and that stops sarvadhatukam yak. But let's not forget, never, never forget the sutram bhava karmanoho. The moment you say in this language passive, Make this in your, you put this in your brain forever. As soon as you say passive in this language, think of bhava karmano. If 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 a if a if it's a tingantam, which is used in the passive tingant pravagaha karmani, then bhava karmano. This sutram is almost never violated. Is that in the passive you can only use atmane padam. So now what happens is that even the dhatu drush. Is a drishir, drishir prekshane is a prasimpadi dhatu, but when you use karmani, it doesn't matter, no matter what the dhatu is, because of bhava karmanoho, 
So after we after we determine that the pratyah has sanya of ardhatukam and it is valadi, then we have to investigate whether it can take the iragama. And the first step, so so please make a note of this. At seven, whenever you think of seven to thirty-five. Immediately make it a point to check 7 to 10 because 7 to 10 is going to stop 7 to 35 in a number of cases. So the 7 to 35, whenever you think of it, immediately check 7 to 10. Okay, what is 7 to 10? 7 to 10 says that before we even go to 7 to 10, Anavritti of na comes down, na it. So in nishedhaha. In so in in pratishadhyate. So prati in pratishedha, nishedhaha. So which means that there will be a idagama will be stopped. And there are these from seven to eight up to seven to thirty four, a variety of rules for stopping idagama. So today being Makara Sankranti, we will make our first entry into this prakaranam of innishedhaha, innishedhaha, when does the idagma, of course these are not the only rules, but this is the main section, idagma will be stopped, okay, now, so that the main, the very, very most important sutram there is, ekacha upadeshunadatta, so one more time, we are talking about a sutram, which is nisheed sutram, it stops the idagma, which is applicable by 7 to 35, Okay. Let's look at the vritti of this sutram. So today we start this special method. So what I'm going to we're going to do from now on is that I put the sutram here in, in our sutra suchi, but we are going to put the notes directly in the Ashtadhyayi document. So let us go there and look at the sutram, what it says. Please keep on repeating a sutram until you are no longer afraid of it. Bhanivritti yavad bhanivritti syat. So keep on repeating a sutram until it becomes a part of you. And this one is going to become part of you very soon. So ekach upadeshanudat, ekach upadeshanudat. Okay, what does it say? It says that, um, okay, let's see, we have our own words. So upadeshe yodhatur ekach. The vrittis are so beautifully written, so please make it a habit to read the vritti very carefully, step by step, just like the sutram. The vritti is meant for us to understand the sutram very precisely, very precisely. So read every, like a lawyer, like a, like a judge or a lawyer, determines a case. You have to read the vritti very, very carefully. It says, Upadeshe. Yodhatuhu ekacha. So first of all, we are talking about a dhatuhu which is upadeshe. Means in the instruction. Instruction means what? Since we are talking about dhatu, we are talking mostly about dhatu pataha. Means, you know, generally upadeshe means in the, in, in the instruction, of, when the teaching of grammar. Teaching means dhatu pata, sutra pata, unadi pata, etc. All these rules, in the rules of grammar or in the uh, kind of in the appendixes of grammar which is Ganapata, Sutra Pata, etc. So I'm sorry, Ganapata, Unadi Pata, etc. So there and Dhatu Pata. So since you're talking about a Dhatu, let's keep it simple right now. Upadesha means Dhatu Pata for us right now. Let's keep it simple, okay. Even though there are some Sutra which Panani only directly gives in Sutra Pata, let's not go there right now. For us right now, it's going to be in the dhatu part itself. itself. So upadesha is keep it simple in the dhatu part. Yo dhatu rekach. It has to be ekach dhatu in the dhatu part. Then what happens? Anudattascha. It has to have anudattaswaraha. Now right now let me make it very clear to you that let us not confuse these two things which is the swara on the it letter which is the marker of the dhatu and the swara on the dhatu vowel itself, one more time, is that we just we just looked at the sutram which is the ekach, um, sorry, anudatagnyata atmanipadam. So that sutram which we have used many times daily examples is used to determine atmanipadam 
or Paraswami Padam, which one to use for the Padavyavastha, Padavyavastha, and that uses the Swaraha, the intonation on the it vowel, on the it vowel. So when we use one three twelve, Anudatta Gnita Atmane Padam, Anudatta Gnita, Anudatta Gnita. So so ita, Anudatta it and Gnita Atmane Padam. So that time we were looking at the swara on the it letter of the dhatu, not on the dhatu's vowel itself. Now we are looking at the swaraha on the dhatu vowel itself. For example, let's go to dhatu part for one second, just to tell you what I'm talking. So keep these two very distinct in your mind, please. That the one, three, twelve, etc. Anudatta gnita atmane padam. That was talking about the intonation on the it vowel, if any. Now, every dhatu may not have an it, but every dhatu has to have at least one ach. It has to have at least one ach. And dhatu pata, of course, most of them have only one ach. But it doesn't matter. Every dhatu has to have at least one ach. But it may not have any it letter at all. Or it may have it letter which is not an ach. It's also possible. So they may not be any it letter at all. But what I'm trying to point out to you is that keep these two ideas distinct in your mind. Is one is the swara on the it letter of the dhatu, if any, that will help it determine whether dhatu is parasapadi or atmanepadi, etc. While the swara on the dhatu dhatu ho acha, the on the on the on the dhatu's vowel itself, that will help it determine whether the dhatu is what is called set or anit. Set means sahita vartate, which is with the iragamaha, which allows the iragamaha. It's called a set dhatu. Anit doesn't allow iragamaha. So that will be determined based on the swara on the dhatu's vowel itself. While the swara on the it vowel, the marker, the marker, that is going to determine the padavyavastha, atmane padam, mataprasya padam. Let's take a quick example here. Look at the dhatu. Any, take any dhatu, dhatu part. Huh? Let's take very first, bhu satta, yeah. Doesn't have an it letter. So by default, sheshat kartari prasne padam. So we go to prasne padam. And this, this ukara of the dhatu has a udatta swaraha. See, anudatta is marked with the lower line. This line below is anudatta. When we have a line below, it's anudatta. So, so here there's no line below the ukara. It is not anudattaha. It is udattaha. Okay? Now let's say next let's, let's say Eda Vridhav. Take Eda Vridhav. The you see the line below the akaraha, that's the it letter. This will be an Atmane Padidhatu because of Anudatta Gnita Atmane Padam. But the Ekara of the Dhatu itself is Udattaha. Is Udatta. It will be a said dhatu. Be a said dhatu. So, so on and so forth. So, right now when you are talking about this sutram, Ekacha Upadeshanu Dhattat, we are looking at this intonation, the swaraha, on the vowel of the dhatu itself, not the it letter. Okay, so let's keep that in mind. So, what is so completing here? Anudhattascha means that this dhatu, which is Ekach, has only one ach, in the dhatu partaha as anudatta swaraha, then what happens? Tataha ardhadhatu kasya inna bhavati. Then it does not allow anidagamaha to come. So it does not allow ebratteha, which would have taken anidagamaha by 7 to 35, ardhadhatu kasya bala dehe, that will be stopped. This, this dhatu, any dhatu, in the dhatu parta, which is ekach has only one vowel, and that one vowel has a anudatta swaraha on it. Such a dhatu will not allow an iragamaha, will not allow the pratyaha to take the iragamaha. I remind you one more time that the iragamaha comes to the pratyaha, not to the dhatu. Always keep that in mind. But a dhatu will disallow the iragamaha will not allow the pratyaha which is sanya of ardhatukam which is valadi which would have taken which would have taken iragama by 7 to 35 will be stopped by 7 to 10 now you see why 7 to 10 is so important it is going to stop the iragamaha it is going to prevent a pratyaha which is valadi 
which has sanya farther to come, which would have taken it Agama by 7235 is now going to be stopped if it, that pratya is following a dhatu, <coughs> which in the dhatu pata is a kach and that single vowel has the anudapta swaraha. Okay? Now, so the vritti says, Iragama is prohibited for a pratyaha which is sending of other dhatu come when it follows a dhatu which in the dhatu part has only one vowel with anuddhatta swaraha. Now the question comes is that this dhatu part is so huge. So for us to go and memorize dhatu, so for to apply this sutram, you would have to look up the dhatu part all the time and see which dhatu. Ho. Of course, which is ekach and most of them in dhatu part are ekach. In the dhatu part, most dhatus, almost all of them, are ekach. There are very few dhatus, like jagru, like urnu, there are very few of them, very few of them. Mostly ekach. So now we have to, to decide to apply 7 to 10 or not, we have to know which, what kind of swara the dhatu vowel has. So for that we have to memorize dhatu parta with the swaras. But there's an easier way out. There's an easier way out. Okay. And this is coming way back from, from you see, Pani, as, far as, as, far as, as far as you look at Panini, as far as Panini is concerned, that's it. The sutram is finished. Is ekach upadeshinu dhattat. So a dhatu, in the dhatu partha, which is ekach, and that ekach has a udhakta swaraha, sorry, has an anudhakta swaraha, I'm sorry, anudhakta swaraha, then it stops it agamaha. But now, so Panini is done with the sutram. We have to remember dhatu partha, what kind of swara is there on the dhatu vowel. But what, what has been done by Patanjali and later grammarians is that they have made a list. They have made a list. Now, what kind of list have they made? Okay, the list is like this. The, and how, I hope you can follow this today. Is that if a dhatu ends in a vowel, okay, dhatu ends in a list, dhatu like bhu sakta, yeah. If a pratya is following, which is valadi, and of course, it's sanya of other dhatu come. In order, in order to help pronunciation, there is generally no need for idagamaha, for ucharanartham. For example, bhuta, bhutani, bhutva. See, in all these places, there is, no, there is really no need to introduce an idagamaha. Remember, Pani didn't create the language. He did not create the language. He only put together in the most efficient manner the rules which were required, as he saw it, to derive the forms which are already there in the language. Pani didn't create these forms. He didn't create these forms. He only put the rules together to describe, to, to derive these forms. I'm saying that if you look at the language itself, you look at the pronunciation, <coughs> if you have a dhatu ending with an ach, like a, take a dhatu bhu, or take a dhatu, you know, chi, one of these, so any 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 dhatu, and which is which is ending in a ach, which if it is being followed by a pratya which is sanya of ardha dhatu which is valadi, means valadi basically is any consonant except yakaraha. There is no need to put a ida agama. Ida agama is not required. It's not required there to help pronunciation. So you would expect just from the just from the way the tongue moves, just from the requirement of pronunciation that most dhatu which end in ach will be anit. They will not allow nidagamaha. There is no need for it. Because you have a dhatu ending in ach, pratya beginning with a one letter, there is not. There's no problem. We can pronounce bhutani or you know chita, everything we can pronounce very easily, bhutva, etc. Now the reverse is true. When you have a dhatu ending in a hal, like a like, like, like pat, we say patitva, Patitum, Patishyami. I mean, all these places, if you have Pat, like Patitam, when you have Dhatu Pat, followed by a Pratish Valadi, now you would think it would be nice to have a Ikara in between to help, to help make a form which can be pronounced better. So it will become Patitta. Patitam. It will become Patitam. So, and it will create all kinds of problems. So, if a dhatu ends, for dhatu is ending in a vowel, ajanta dhatavaha, prayena anitaha. They are, they don't have an idaga, they don't, they don't allow idaga maha. And the reverse is true, 
when you have a dhatu ending in a hal, that they will be prayana setaha. They will be mostly set dhatus. Set means sa it. Set means ita sa vartante. It is setaha. So means with an it. An it means without an it. So means they don't allow it agamaha. So the bulk of dhatus which end in an acha will be an it. While the majority of them which end in a hal will be set. And you can, this, it is very easy to remember this. As I said, if a dhatu ends in a hal, if it is followed by pratya beginning with a wal, it's going, be, it's going to be a nasty combination there. So you will have to, it will be nice to get a iragama in between there to create a nice form, easy to pronounce, like patitum. Much easier to pronounce than pat, patitum, patitum. But the reverse is true. Dhatu like you know bhutva or you know like 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 you know like word like chitam. So chitam, you don't need it already there. But now there are exceptions to this. <coughs> there are exceptions. Is that there are dhatus which end in a ach and which do allow viragamaha. And there are dhatus which end in a consonant hal which do not allow it out. These are the exceptions to what you would normally what you would normally expect. And the exceptions are listed out in these what is what is called as the karikas. Karikas is this nice you can look at these as, as simple kind of couplets which list out the exceptions. So one last time. The bulk of dhatus which end in an acha will not allow in Idagamaha. There is no need for it when the pratyaya following is a valadi pratyaya. Conversely, the bulk of the majority of dhatus which end in a hal, they will allow in Idagamaha for a pratyaya beginning with a well letter. But there are exceptions. And if you remember only the exceptions, you are done. Because you got the exceptions and you know the general rule. So after that, you don't have to memorize dhatu partha with the swaras on it. So if you can just list out the, the, if the exceptions are not many, if the exceptions are not many, you can list them out. Then we can memorize that list of exceptions and then we are okay. Because then we say, your know, dhatu ends in a it is on it unless it's a list of exceptions. Conversely, dhatu ends in a hal, it's a said dhatu, it allows it akamaha, unless list of exceptions. So now let's look at the list of exceptions. There are two lists of exceptions. The first list is a list of those dhatus which end in ach, which are set. The second list, those dhatus which end in a hal, which are anit. Okay, you understand that. Anyway, as I said, don't worry, even if you see so, this today is sounding a bit complicated for you today, for the rest of your life, you have the sutram with you. You get a lot of examples, a lot of practice, so don't don't panic if it's a little bit too much for you today. It's a fairly simple concept, but you're going to get a lot of practice, lot of practice. Almost every other class, we will have this sutram. Eka Chupadashanudatta. Because you can you can imagine, whenever a dhatu is followed by pratya, which is sanyaf ardhatukam, which is valadi, immediately think idagama, 7 to 35. And then we, when, then we have to think about, is a dhatu set or on it? So you can you can you can imagine it's, it's a very common concept. Now the thing is that if this concept is so common, then how come we didn't take this before? How come we take it only now, after a year and a half has gone by? Because so far we're talking about the pratya shap and shan and sh, they all had the sanya of sarvadha to come. So therefore, there was no occasion for 7 to 35. The only one we saw among the Ganavikaranaha was the Upratyaha, Tanadi Krimbya Uhu. So that Ukaraha is not Valadi, it's Ukaraha. So, so far we have not really seen a situation where the Pratya falling has a Sanya of Ardhatukam and is Valadi. But now on, we are going to be seeing a lot of them. We will be seeing a lot of them. That is why we take the sutram only now. We didn't request for the last year and a half. Because we did not have a situation 
with the pratyaya was val adi and ardhatuka pratyaya but because of the sutam litya now litya we are now faced with the situation we going to have a pratyaya which is ardhatuka so now we better start thinking about 7 to 35 ardhatuka seed vala dehe actually even now we don't need the sutram really why we don't need it because of the fact that we are not look, going to be looking at any second person or first person or uh, lit because lit because of parokshe lit so in the two classes back we said to you is that most of the time almost all the time lit will be only pratham purusha because it is an action which has not been experienced by the speaker is mostly once upon a time once upon a time and if you look at all the pratyayas in for the prasam purusha what do we have we have tip tas ji which become nal atus us because of 3482 prasne pada naam nal atus us etc anubandha lope we get a atus us because nal becomes akara by chutu halantyam atus is uh, atus of course and then us so in both those cases sakara is stopped from between it because of nagabhakto tusma ha so we have a atus us and all three of these are are beginning with a vowel so if it's if it's not valadi there's no question with agam hari was one thing if it's the if the pratyaya is not valadi there is no idagam finish end of story you don't have to worry about it the pratyaya is not valadi don't even think of idagam there is no idagam it's not valadi <coughs> so we are talking about lit and we are mostly going to confine ourselves with the lit only pratham purusha and the pratyaya nal atu such anubandha lope a atu us they don't begin with a vowel at all all of them were ajadi now what about atmanipadam atmanipadam also we have ta atam j and then become litas tajor e shirej it becomes a atam ire a atam ire and of course become a ate ire because of the titapadam tere kita atmane padanam tere so finally we have after finish of with 3.4 remove the eight letters we have a ate ire ek vachanam divachanam bhavachanam here also we don't have anything being with a one letter so even in lit even though we have lit cha sutram the pratyasan of ardhatukam but because we are because it is almost always third person almost or pratham purusha and all the six pratyas three in prasya padam which is a atus us and a three in atnipadam which is a ate ire they are all beginning with a ach so even right now we don't really need this sutra but we are going to be reading it a lot when we go forward and we will take some small examples in the madhya purusha and the uttar purusha so that's why we are taking this sutra now that's why we, we did not need this in the last year and a half but we are going to start needing it from now onwards a lot not right now so much in lit as i just mentioned you because right now only third person lit and all the pratyas are, are ajadi we don't really need this sutra but let us start it today <coughs> and if you have a if you have a wall at home where you put all these vyakarana sutrani vartikani uh, karika etc keep this one on that wall this one should be should be pasted on the wall forever these karikas in fact you know funny thing is that you know when we were like 5 6 years old my father used to make me memorize these <laughs> these karikas we had no idea what he was talking about but anyway so so this, this is brand in our brain from we were really young me and my sister so he used to <laughs> used to pound these karikas in our head so so these are very important karikas so please keep them by your side at all times okay so we are looking at two lists over now the first list suchi will list out for us those dhatus again in the dhatu part ha which are ekach which end in a vowel but which do allow nidagamaha so which are they now they are here so 
which are adu which are udatta so 7 to 10 does il nishedha when the dhatu is anudatta if the dhatu is udatta then of course we cannot apply 7 to 10 then 7 to 35 will proceed with the ragamaha so which are these dhatus now which end in the vowel which are udatta they are like this udrudantaihi yauti ru kshnu shing snu nu kshu shvi ding shribhi vrim vrim bhyancha vinayika chu jante shu nihatas smutaha one more time udrudantair yauti ru kshnu shing snu nu kshu shvi ding shribhi उदृदंतवचन बारिंग दीज All the remaining, so so etai hi vina, vina means without, barring these, excluding these. Ajanteshu eka cha ajanteshu nihata hasmata ha. So all other dhatus, which are eka cha, which are in the vowel, barring these, are <coughs> nihata ha anudatta ha means anita ha nuvida agama ha. So this is a list which gives. the exceptions which give the list of those dhatus which end in a vowel which which are udattaha so that's udru let's take them step by step now so i have put everything here in the, in the in the in this astadhyay page so you can you can look at his list at your own convenience after for homework go please go through his list very carefully keep it by your side of course we'll give you a lot of examples in the coming weeks a lot of examples again we cannot give you many examples in the lit prayoga you'll get a lot of examples so don't worry if the list sound a little bit too long for you right now it's only for keep for reference okay let's go to step by step now in the dhatu paatha all the verbal roots which end in, which have a single vowel and which end in a vowel are anudattah except the following so what are the exceptions now so those which end in a u karaha so ud rud antaihi ud means dirgha ukarantaihi so kataprastat kalasya so ud means only ukaraha so ending with a ukaraha so ud rud antaihi so those which end in a ukaraha those which end in a rukaraha now i just told you dhatu bhu now wait a minute now dhatu bhu ends in a ukaraha so even though our, our general logic about a dhatu ending in a ach should be mostly bulk of them are anitaha anudatta but udrudantaihi so dhatu ending in ukaraha will be now udatta it will be set so dhatu bhu actually is set dhatu then wait a minute then how come the forms like bhutva bhutani you know how about all these forms there is no idagama there ah so now as i told you this is not the only sutram which does in nishedha so in nishedha section goes from 7 to 8 up to 7 to 34 right now we're looking at this one most important sutram but there are others in fact is one right below it shukashkiti now let's talk into that today but the bottom line is that 7 to 10 is only a, a top level a top level classification there will be more specific rules in specific circumstances which will further dictate 
the iragama will become more not in specific situations so even though dhatu is is bhu is like udrudanta it is a said dhatu udatta dhatu but there must be some other sutra which is stopping the iragama in forms like bhutva and bhutani but how about bhavishyati now you see there the iragama there bhavishyati so that is expected because this dhatu bhu is so udanta udanta dhatu ukaranta dhatu it is a udatta dhatu to say dhatu the form like bhavishyati is to be expected to have in agama but in form like bhutva and bhutani the sutram 7 to 11 comes in there and stops in agama so it's a good example to understand that the 7 to 10 you're studying right now is not the final word it is only the first step after you think of 7 to 35 first check 7 to 10 that's the top level of the first barrier that's the first barrier to iragama then after that you can look at more details so, so don't jump to conclusion that just because 7 to 10 is 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 you know allowing this thing to become say doesn't mean that in all forms everywhere it will be said there will be other rules so but for the time being we we'll, we we'll look at this much if you have a ukarant dhatu like a dhatu bhu sattayam or lui chedane or puin pavane these are all going to be udattaha udattaha so uh, so so they are they are um, so they are going to allow idagamaha so 7 to 10 will not apply to them apply to them okay same thing धातुकार udattaha now then comes a list yauti rukshno shing snu nu kshu shvi ding shibhi and that list is given over here dhatu yu mishrana mishrane mishrane cha this is this is a, in the adadi gana dhatu ru is in two ganas now one thing you will notice is that in some places panini has given it with the with the gana vikarana or with the it letter in the dhatu part ha so when so this dhatu yauti so yauti here is the adadigana dhatu we will we'll see some we'll, okay let's go down the list carefully we'll 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 see some situations where where this list limits these refers to only specific dhatus so let us let us go step by step so yauti is dhatu adadigana ha yu mishrane mishrane cha dhatu ru comes in two ganas ru shabde and rung gati reshana yoho so this is adadi gana this is vadi gana then kshnu comes in the adadi gana kshnu tejane shing sapne adadi gana snu shnu prasravane in the adadi gana and the nu which is nu stutau which is in the adadi gana nu is to to praise then kshu to kshu shabde adadi gana then shvi so chuoshvi chuoshvi gati vriddhayo to go or to increase advadi gana ding vihaya sagato to fly it comes in two ganas is in the advadi gana and the divadi gana then shring sevayam vadi gana and vring sam bhaktau in the kriyadi gana and vri varane the swadi gana and the churadi gana the one churadi gana let's talk about this for a second churadi gana ha a dhatu will take swarthe nich as we have seen by 3125 so it is uh, by 3125 kada churadi bhyo swarthe nich so satya apapash etc so now then if he gets a nich it will become anekach then what's the point of including that dhatu in this list this dhat this list only is talking about dhatus which are ekach And if a dhatu is in the churadi gana, it's already become anekach because of the sanadhyan. When you add nish pratyaha sanadhyan ta dhatu bha anekach. But look at it is adrishiya, adrishiya. 
when we talked about this section in the Churadi Ganaha, where some dhatus, apru dhatu dhrish, can take, will take niche only optionally. It is dhatu number 3, 4, 3, 45, the section which is called apru dhatu dhrish. They will, they will take the, so, uh, see, vring varane. This, this goes up to dhatu dhrish. These are dhatus which take the niche pratya only optionally. Optionally. So then these will so then when they don't take the niche pratyaha, then these dhatus will become ekacha. They will, they will stay ekacha. And then they will become subject of the see adrishiyaha. Itya adrishiyaha. So this 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 section of dhatus which we have seen, they take the niche pratya only optionally. So when nishpratya is taken, of course they become anekacha. But if the nishpratya is not taken, then they will stay ekacha, and at that time we will we will use this list again to see ring avarne in the churadi ganaha, even the churadi ganaha is adrishiya, so vikalpe na nicha. So nijabhava pakshe, nijabhava pakshe, when nicha is not taken, will be ekacha. Then it will be, it, it has the it, is, it comes in this list where when it is ekach, it is it is udatta. It is not anudatta. It is udatta. It doesn't take niche. Okay. Now, so one more time. This is a list which gives the exceptions. Exceptions means those dhatus which end in a ach, end in a vowel, which have a udatta svaraha, udatta svaraha. The majority of dhatus which end in a vowel have anudatta svaraha, but this list udru dantai riyauti ruk. Kshnu, Shing, Snu, Nu, Kshu, Shvi, Ding, Shri, Bhe, Vrang, Vrang, Bhyancha, Vinayika, Chojante, Shu, Nihata, Smrata. Okay, please try to memorize if you can. At least keep it ready at all times. And again, you have them all of them listed out here nicely so you can look at this list at all times. Now, the reverse is true of those dhatus which end in a hull. Which end in a hull. Most of them will be will be anudattaha. They will not. Uh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. I have not confused you. Most of them will be udattaha. You will allow nidagam because these are dhatus ending in hal. Excuse me. Dhatus ending in a hal. They end in a hal. They will mostly allow nidagam to come. Dek patitum, patitwa, etc. So they will mostly be udattaha. Only some of them are anudattaha. In fact, there are 103 of these dhatus, 103 dhatus, which end in a hal, but which are anudattaha. They don't allow any dhatamaha. So which are they? Well, this, this list is organized in the, in the sense of the letter in which the dhatu ends. So the, the hal, which is the ending hal? Which is a kakaraha, chakaraha, chakaraha, jakaraha. This is the this is the uh, akara di suchi. It's an alphabetical list in the or should say kakara di suchi. Kakara di suchi based on the ending letter because these are halanta dhatava, correct? We are talking about list of exceptions, the list of those dhatus which end in a hal, which are nudattaha. So this is organized alphabetically based on that ending ending consonant those which end in a consonant that's which end in a consonant which end in a hull end in a hull anudattaha so, so halantaha anudattaha so this so those which end in a consonant which end in a consonant they are going to be mostly mm, anudattaha they mostly udattaha and and only fewer fewer anudattaha so this is a list of exceptions those dhatus which end in a hull which end in a consonant, which are anudattaha. And it's organized alphabetically according to that ending consonant. So first comes the kaka, so ka, 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 cha, 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 in that list order. So kakante shu shakle kaha. So which, which end in a kakara is only one dhatu, dhatu, which ends in a kakaraha, which is anudattaha. So that is shakru ekaha, shakle kaha. So shak, shakru shaktau. Now, now here it says shakru. Didn't say shak, just say shakra, which means that there may be other dhatu of the form shak, other than shakra. So they will not be included in this list. Let's go to dhatu parta for a second. Dhatu parta, if you look at dhatu parta over here, 
you see the dhatu shak they will be shaklu is not the only one but in this list specifically shaklu ekaha shaklu ekaha shaklu ekaha means only the single dhatu shaklu that's the only one ending in a kakara in the dhatu part which is anudatta anudatta so no you don't come if you look at the dhatu part here look at dhatu shak how many do we have um let's see we have the dhatu shak we have shakl over here we also have here shak vibha vibhashito marshane so this is divadi ganaha this is not included because the list specifically says shakl ekaha so when it comes with a specific it letter rakaraha so that means that only this one is in the list not this other shak because this one specifically says shakl so similarly other places when we look at this list over here we will of course we cannot go through every dhatu in the class but you can keep this list for example if we look you know here niger the word niger it says niger only with the ir as eighth letter only that's in this list so there may be another dhatu nij which doesn't have the ir as a eighth letter on that so that's not in this list in this list is only niger not any other nij same thing here dhatu shakl only is in this list not any other shak so in this list if you see a dhatu with a specific it letter with it from the dhatu part ha then you take only that one don't take any others of that form but if you see a dhatu without it letter for example we saw this dhatu which is you know um we see for example we saw this one d or d there were two of them right we saw two of them so there may be two of them for example here dhatu ru was given dhatu ru in the prayalish we saw dhatu ru so there are two of them we have ru shabde and rung gatireshana yoho gatireshana yoho now both will come because ru did not say which specific ru so it will take both of them you understand so this ru will include all the rus not only rung will include all of them but when you say shakl it includes only dhatu shakl not any other shak when you say nijer it will only nijer not any other nij so if you look at nij there might be one other nij in there so that so we have to so if we, if we, in the list is a specific dhatu is specific it letter then only that one's come in the list if it's a dhatu like ru then with, without it letter then all the rus will come in the from the dhatu part uh, of course which are ek aaj we talk about ek so if we take dhatu nij uh, <coughs> niche niche niger there may be another niche which will not come in this list so niche anyway this niche i think on niger another one niji is here so that won't come because on niger was mentioned on the list so this is how the list is given it's there is a total of 103 dhatus in 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 the alphabetical order in the order of the consonant which is ending in ending consonant so in the kanteshu shakle kaha it's only one dhatu now chanteshu and this, this is in alphabetical order so we have k kh g gh ng so kanteshu ganteshu this is not a single one so we kanteshu we got one shakle kaha then k kh so kanteshu is not a single one there which means that all dhatus which are dhatus ending in a khakara whatever may be they will all be udatta same thing that ganteshu there is nothing there k kh g gh ganteshu nothing there you know so nanteshu if anyone is there so from kanteshu direct we went to chanteshu so k kh g gh ng in the entire k varga ending dhatus only one dhatu is anudatta then comes chanteshu we have pach much rich vach vich sicha shat there are six dhatus six of them pach du pach shpake much muchlur mokshane now as i mentioned to you most of the dhatus which end in a consonant which end in a hal are udattaha only there are this 103 exceptions but some of these exceptions are very important are very very common dhatus like even shak like pach like much like vach these are very important dhatus like tyach so even though this list is only those three those 103 exceptions they are, they have in them some very very important dhatus so this this list is very important the list is very important to remember which which of these 
don't which are which are going to be anudattah ending in a consonant so pach du pachash pakhe much is much mokshane and so on rich which is virechane vacha paribhashane so as well as what happens is that vacha is also dhatu called bruvo vachi sorry sutram called bruvo vachi the dhatu bru takes uh, takes the adesha vacha when the pratyaya following is adhatuka pratyaya even that will come under this vacha so vacha is not only vacha paribhashane it also includes the vacha which comes in adesha for bru well sutram 2453 which you haven't seen so far we we'll see it later on then which which are prathak bhave and sich so there are there are these six dhatus in chanteshu then chanteshu prachye kah prachye kah there only one dhatu ending in a chakara is anudatta prach niks nipsaya means to ask prachami prushtam so that so there is one the prushtva so there are these only these uh, only one dhatu ending in chakara which is anudatta then jante shu tyaj nijar bhaj bhanj bhuj bhrsj masj yaj yuj ruj ranj vijir swanj sanj sujah panchadash there are 15 dhatus ending in a jakara again you have to memorize this list you have to memorize this list right now just keep it handy any time you think of iraq mahab 7235 check this list first see this dhatu in that list if it's ending in a consonant it may still be anudattaha which in this list okay that's what this list is all about the 15 dhatu so you got tyaj tyajahanau nijar shaucha poshana yoho is to clean oneself or to nourish bhaj sevayam bhanj amardane to crush bhuj the two of them bhujo kautilye and bhuj padana vyavahara yoho to protect or to consume most in sense of consuming bhrashya pake to fry or to cook kamashya to mashyo shuddhav to kind of plunge in water yaj there are yaj there are there are yaj deva puja sangati karana daneshu in the uh, this is only one in the vadi ganaha then yuj there is yuj samadhav divadi ganaha yujar yoge rudhadi ganaha yuj sanyamane churadi gana adrishiya same thing churadi gana means if it takes a niche it becomes aneka there no there no there is no question of 7 to 10 applying but adrishiya means takes niche optionally so nija bhava pakshe then we have to check the list again and this is in the list so she says it says dhatu yuj was mentioned here without any eighth letter in your specification so there we get all of them this yuj from the a yuj from the divadi ganaha yuj from the from the rudadi ganaha and the churadi ganaha adrishiya in ruj bhange ranj rage from vadi ganaha as well as rage from the divadi ganaha vijir prathak bhave jyotyadi ganaha swanj parishvange vadi ganaha and sanj from the vadi ganaha and srij from the divadi and tudadi ganaha So these are list of dhatus in the jante shu panchadasha or dante shu there are 16 shodasha ada khuda khida chida tuda nuda padya bhida vidya vana vinad one, one more time one more time ada khuda khida chida tuda nuda padya bhida vidya vinad vinad shad sad swidy skand hadah iti shodash dhatavah so there are 16 dhatus ending in dakarah which are ekach in the dhatu patah which are anudattah and there are other bhakshane of course from the from the adadi ganah the first dhatu adadi ganah khud khudir sampeshane rudadi ganah khid dainye divadi ganah and the tudadi ganah परिघाते एंड द रुदादि गणा दैन्ये छिदर द्वैधी करणे रुदादि गणा तुद व्यथने अपुस्तु दादि गणा वेरी फर्स्ट धातु तु दादि गणा एंड देन नुद नुद प्रेरणे इन द इन द तु दादि गणा एज वेल एज वन मोर टाइम तु दादि गणा कम्स ट्वाइस ओवर देयर देन पदगतौ इन द दिवादि गणा विदर विदारणे रुदादि गणा नौ विद 
So dhatu ved comes in five ganas. It comes in the uh, vetti, in the adadi ganaha. It comes also in the vidyate. It comes in the in the divadi ganaha. It also comes the rudadi ganaha. Okay, it comes in tudadi ganaha. Vindati, vindat vindati atmaniyas come in Bhagavad Gita. So so it comes in tudadi ganaha, then rudadi ganaha, and churadi ganaha. So churadi, of course, doesn't matter because it's going to get niche. It becomes anekach. So forget about churadi. Because 7 to 10 is only ekach upadishan adhattat. So if churadi gana if it takes niche, then it is, it's, it's, there's no, it doesn't apply. 7 to 10 doesn't apply. You have to check about any list then. So it doesn't apply with churadi. But the four are left now. We have adadi gana, divadi gana, tudadi gana, and rudadi gana. Now out of those four ganas, what do we have here? We have vidya which is the shen gana vikarnaha so this is the divadi gana vidyate this is vinad gana vikarnam shnam rudadi bhyashnam rudadi gana then vinad vind vind is the vind tudadi gana vindati vindati so three of them are here so the only one remains now only the like viditva that is the only the adadi gana Dhatu vid thing with the is to know that is the only one, only one which is going to be udattaha. These three vidya, vinad vidya divadi ganaha, vinad rudadi ganaha, and vind tudadi ganaha are going to be anudattaha. Now there is one little complication here. According to the kashika, according to the kashika, this dhatu vidru labhe, which is which is the last which is the wind. By the way, this this numagam is coming by shemuchadi nam. This numagam and wind is coming by shemuchadi nam. Shemuchadi nam numagam. Numagam which we have studied. The shemuchadi nam numagam. This starts in seven dot one. Numagam shemuchadi nam is coming over here. Num this one shemuchadi nam. So there is a little part of Veda here according to Kashika. Is dhatu wind. Basically, dhatu is not dhatu wind. This is the with, with the ganavikaranam, which is sorry, which with the numagama is mentioned here. So this is not ganavikaranam. I'm sorry. This dhatu with of the tudadi ganaha vidru labhe, which takes the numagama by shemuchadi na. According to the kashika, this dhatu should not be in this list. So according to kashika, the dhatu vidru labhe is udatta. According to Siddhanta Kaumbudi and Mahabhashyam, this Dhatu Vidrilabhe is Anudatta. So sometimes you may see this list is only 102, so 103, because of this Dhatu, which is the Vidrilabhe, is in the Kashika taken not to be in this list, so it will be Udatta. So one more time, Dhatu Vid comes in five Ganas, in the Adadi Ganaha, Divadi Ganaha, Tudadi Ganaha, Rudadi Ganaha, Churadi Ganaha. Churadi will take Nishpratya, it will become Anekach, so it should not, this is out of question over here. And the Adadi Ganaha is a, is the Udattaha. Remaining three are the Tudadi, are the Divadi, Tudadi, Rudadi. According to Siddhanta Kaumi Mahabhasham, these three from the Divadi, Tudadi, Rudadi are all Anudattaha. According to Kashika though, the Vidru Labhe, which is the Tudadi Ganaha, is, you know, is, um, is Udatta. So, so Kashika does not include this Vidru Labhe in this list. Okay, so that's the part of it. Huh? So we have here Vidha Vicharane, Rudadi Ganaha. So we have Vidha, Vidha Sattayam, Divadi Ganaha, Vidha Vicharane, Rudadi Ganaha, and Vidru Labhe, which is controversial in the Tudadi Ganaha, it is over here. Then Shadr Shatane, Shadr Shatane comes in Vadi and Tudadi Ganaha. Then Shadr Visharana Gatya Vasadane Shu in the Vadi Ganaha and the Tudadi Ganaha. Then Shvida Gatra Prasraksharane means to sweat. Shvida to sweat. So it is it is in the Divadi Ganaha. So it is it is Mishvida or Shvida. Then Skandir Gati Shoshana Yoho Vadi Ganaha and Hada. Puri Shot Sargay is in the Bhadi Ganaha. So there are these 16. Now, in the Dhanteshu, there are 11 Dhatus. 
जरादि क्रुध क्षुध बुद्ध बंध युध रुध राध व्यध शुध साध सिद्ध्या सुध कोपे दिवादिगण क्षुध बुभुक्षा टू बी हंग्री दिवादिगण बुध अवगमने धातु बुद्ध विल कम इन दिवादिगण ऑल्सो दस नॉट इन दिस लिस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ बुद्ध बुद्ध इज विद गण विकरण श्यन सो बुद्ध मीन्स ओनली फ्रॉम द दिवादिगण नॉट दि अदर बुद्ध because the list says buddhya not but but buddhya which means only the dhatu bud with the gana vikaranam shyand so buddha avagamane which is for divadi gana then bandha bandhane uh, kriyadi gana yudha samprahare divadi gana rudhir um, avarane rudhadi gana of course anurudha kame divadi gana radha samsiddhau swadi and radha vridha divadi vyadha taadane divadi shudha shauche divadi and sadha samsiddha in swadi and sidha samvrabdha divadi now in the nante shumanya hana udvav only two of them manya and hana again dhatu man also comes in the ashtamagana in the in the tanadi gana that's not included here it says manya manya means when the dhatu man takes the gana vikaranam shyan so at manya so only mana jnane from the divadi gana and hana himsagatyo from the adadi gana that's so it's this has some very important dhatus like manyate hanti very important dhatus are on this list this man is only manya which is from the divadi gana not the other man from the tanadi gana then panteshu त्रयोदश थर्टीन ऑफ देम आप क्षिप क्षुप तप तिप तृप्य दृप्य लिप लुप वप शप स्वप सृपस्त्रयोदश सो दे ऑल लिस्टेड ओवर हियर इज यू नो आप फ्रॉम द इट सेज आप सो ऑल द आप्स विल कम सो व्हिच इज फ्रॉम द स्वादिगण व्याप्त लंभने फ्रॉम द चुरादिगण आदृशी सेम थिंग व्हिच मींस व्हेन इट डजंट टेक द निच प्रत्यय क्षिप From prerne divadi gana ha, also tudadi gana ha. Prerne chupa sparshe from the tudadi gana ha. Tapa santape vadi gana ha, divadi gana ha. Tapa dahe, sorry, tapa santape vadi, tapa ishwarye divadi, tapa dahe adrishi ha churadi. Tipa kshane vadi, trupa prerne divadi, drupa harshamohan yoho divadi lipa upadehe. उपदेहे विच इज तुदादि लुप लुप्र छेदने तुदादि वप दु वप बीज संताने छेदने अपि मींस टू टू सो सीड्स और टू कट आल्सो वादि शप आक्रोश टू क्रेट टू कर्स सी शप इज जस्ट सेड शप डिड से एनी स्पेसिफिक शप सो वी वी टेक द फ्रॉम द वादि गणः एंड आल्सो फ्रॉम द दिवादि गणः देन स्वप मी श्वप shaye to sleep from the adadi gana ha and srupa gatav from vadi gana ha the bhante shutra ha there are three of them yabha rabha labha so yabha maithune vadi gana ha rabha rabhasye mostly arva to begin vadi gana ha and labha prapto to labhas prapto vadi gana ha mante shu chatvara ha there are four them mante shu gama nama yama rama of course gamru gatav नम प्रवृत्व शब्दे च टू सल्यूट टू बाउ डाउन टू यम उपर मे टू रिस्ट्रेन रम क्रीडायाम अथवा रम इति माधव वादिगण शांतेशु देर आर टेन ऑफ देम विच इज कृष दंश दिश दृश मृष ऋष ऋष लिश विश स्पृशो दश सो कृष आवाहने रोदने च वादिगण दंश फ्रॉम द वादिगण दिश फ्रॉम द Tudadi gana ha, ati sarjane, drishya prekshane, of course we just saw that. Vadi gana ha, mrisha, maamarshane, tudadi gana ha, risha himsayam. Tudadi gana ha, risha himsayam also, tudadi gana ha. Lisha, alpi bhave, lisha gatav, both of them come in here. From the divadi and tudadi, both are coming here. Because it didn't say which lish, so both of them come. 
then visha praveshane tudadi and sprusha samasparshane tudadi. In Shanteshu there are also eleven Krisha, Twisha, Tusha, Dvisha, Dusha, Pushya, Pisha, Visha, Shisha, Shusha, Shishyaha. So Krisha Vilekane from the Bhadi Ganaha, also from the Tudadi Ganaha. And then Tusha Deepta Bhadi, Tusha Prita Tudadi, Dvisha Aprita Adadi, Dusha uh, Vaikritya, which to spoil Divadi, uh, Pusha Pushta to nourish from the uh, Divadi Ganaha, Pisha Sanchurane to paste, to make up, to, cr to grind, to pound, Rudhadi, Visha, Vishlu Vyaptau, Vishu Sechane, Visha Viprayoge, three of them, which are in the Juhatyadi Bhadi and the Kriyadi Ganaha, Shisha Himsayam, Vadi Ganaha, as well as Shishlu Visheshane from the Rudhadi, Shisha Asarvopayoge, Rudhadi, I mean, sorry, Shuradi Adrishiya, Mijabhava Pakshe. Then Shusha Shoshane, Tivadi Ganaha, and Shusha Alingane from Tivadi Ganaha. Sante Shu Ghasvasati Dvau. So Ghas Adane from the Vadi and Vasa Nivase. Now, you said Vasati. So Vasati means this is Bivachanam. Ghasvasati is Bivachanam of Ghasvasati. So Vasati means only from the Vadi Ganaha Vasa, not the other Vasa, which like, were like you know, vastram, etc. That means vas is to clothe. That will not come. So vas will take its case vasati. Vasati means only with the when the ganamikaranam shap vasati. So that if, if you look at vas, because it says vasati, specifically vasati, not any other vas. So only when the vas takes shap. So here it is. This is uh, vas. And then there will be another, sorry, no, this is vis, I'm sorry. Vas, 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 vas. Uh, so vas will be nivase, this is the one, vasa nivase, not this one, vasa achadane, that will not come. Okay, and lastly we have nahante uh, shu ashtau, there's eight of them, daha diha duha naha miha roha liha vaho ashtau. So daha vasmikarane vadi diha adadi ganaha duha prapurane adadi Naha Bandhane to bind the Vadi, Miha Sechane Vadi, Raha Bijan Mani Pradur Bhave Vadi, Liha Aswadane Adadi Ganaha and Vaha Praparne Vadi Ganaha. So these are this total if you count all these together, you get hundred and three dhatus which end in a hal which are anudattaha. These are list of exceptions. So please keep the list in mind. Seven to ten. Ekachu Padeshanu Datta. So on this auspicious day of Makara Sankaranam, we have now got this list of those dhatus which end in a ach, end in a ach which are udattaha and which end in a hal anudattaha. These are the exceptions. Okay. Now let's continue. So this was seven to ten. Ekachu Padeshanu Datta. So as I mentioned to you, in lit prayogaha, which we are talking about more, mostly third person, we will not need this. Why? The pratya is not valadi anyway. Even if it is valadi, even if it is valadi, we have special sutra, which says that krisru bhru bhru stu dru sru shuvo liti. Look at the number 7 to 13. Now, the, I'll say to the Inisheda section, which we entered today, which we entered today, that goes from 7 to 8 to 7 to 34. 7 to 8 to 7 to 34. So there, we saw 7 to 10 in great detail today. But in the case of lit, we have special sutra, which is that only these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 dhatus, only these will not allow idagamaha. In lit. So actually in the lit pravagaha, we don't even need 7 to 10 really. So we have a special sutra, but if we're going to need 7 to 10 a lot as we go forward, but for the lit, for the lit there's a special rule, 7 to 13. Kradibhya eva lita inna syat, anyasmat anitaha apisyat. So karadibhya eva, karadi. Is kru adi, so kru sru bru etc. Kradi. Don't don't confuse with the kriyadi ganaha. The kriyadi ganaha of course is the 
is the ninth gana, kriyadi. That's, that's a kriyadi gana. This is kradi, kra, means kriyadi, kriyadi, kradi. The kradi list is this set of eight dhatus, which is dikrinkarane, krihinsayam, these two together, and then sru gatau, bring bharane, as well as bring dharana poshana yoho, bring varane, bring sambhaktau, and stu, stutau, dru gatau, sru gatau, and shru shravane. Now, we just talked about this bring varane and bring sambhaktau. Remember that list we just talked about? These two dhatus, ending in a ach, we just looked at these two, they were, uh, they were actually, they were actually uh, udattaha. We looked at this list uh, of seven to ten. We just looked at that. We looked at the list over here, and we we have this uh, uh, ring varane and the ring sambhak sambhakta. But now, because of this list over here, what's going to happen is that they are going to not allow vidagama. So bottom line is in the lit prayogaha. Lit prayogaha only these. Only these dhatus, they will not allow Vidagamaha. Any other dhatu, no matter with 7 to 10, doesn't matter anything, they will all allow Vidagamaha. So thus you understand now where the Vidagamaha is not critical in the lit. Because for us, we are most likely to need it at all. Because only we only look at third person. Even if we look at second person and first person, even then, it's not important because of this sutra, seven to thirteen. This says this. So kradibhya eva itaha innasyad anyasmad anitaha api. Even if it's anitdhatu, doesn't matter. Syad. So bottom line is that only these eight dhatus don't allow vidagamaha in the lit pravagaha. Others will allow. Of course, to take it agama dhatu, I mean the pratyas has to be valadi, that's a separate. If it's valadi, only these eight will stop it agama. Others will all allow, regardless of seven to ten. Now, before we leave this section, I want to mention one thing, which we will not be taking in this class, is that there are there are others, there are some special rules, special rules, which is which are going to be coming, uh, which we are not going to take in this class is the Ruto Bharadvajasya and this is, you know, so they are going to be talking about specially what will what will happen uh, in the case of the Thal Pratyaha. The Thal Pratyaha is the Madhya Purusha Ek Vachana because Nal Atus Us Thal Atus A. The Thal comes in Adesha Varsip. And there are these rules 7 to 61, 62, 63 which we will not do in the class. If you really, if you are really curious to find out the complications of Iragama in the, for the Thal Pratya only, you can look at these three rules. They, are, they will come very, very rarely. It will be the second person singular. Even if it comes, so what? Iragama will be there or not there. You will see it Pratyaksham. So, right now we look at only, we are going to see only one rule in this class for Iragama in the Lit Pravagaha, which is this one. The Kradi Niyamaha. Kris, Sru, Bru, Vru, Stu, Dru, Sru, Shuvo, Liti. There are complicated three rules which talk about Iragamaha specifically in the place of the Pratyathal. We will not take them in this class because this, they are almost never going to be used. But if you want to study on your own, you can study 7 to 61, 62, 63, which talk about the, the, the specific rules in the case of Pratyathal, which is the Madhya Purusha Ek, which Nam Parasnipadam, taking it out. Okay? So we'll not take 72, 61, 62, 63 in the class. So they're very rarely used. Okay, let's take an example. Let's take Dhatu, let's take Dhatu Buddha, Buddha Agavagamane. Okay? Let's take the Madhya Purusha Ek, Vachanam. Now this dhatu is a is a atmane padi dhatu buddha avagamane. So when we take apply the usual step, we apply lit uh, anubandha lopaha. Then we take apply get the pratyaya thas madhya purusha ekavachanam, and then thas se. Well, lit is a titlakar of course, so tita atmane padanam tere. And then what happens is that we get the idagamaha. Now seven to thirty five, he says ardhatu ko siyed valade. So first step. 
the pratyaya says valadi vasanya pardhatukam because of literature now what does 7 to 10 say what does 7 to 10 say is buddha avagamane number in the divadigana let's check 7 to 10 it's a lesson for today when you say 7 to 35 immediately check 7 to 10 and 7 to 10 has the dhatu buddha avagamane dhante shukruda kshuda buddhya buddha avagamane buddha avagamane is here so if so buddha avagamane is anudatta anudatta nuidagamaha but then we just said in the case of lit we have a specific rule the kradi niyamaha krusru bhru bhru stu dru sru shuvoliti ebhya eva innasyad anyasmad anitapisyat so even though the dhatu buddha avagamane is in the list of exceptions it is anudattaha doesn't matter for lit because in lit pravagaha only these eight dhatus which are kru etc the kradinya maha only those eight don't allow it agamaha all the others do so that's what the example of buddha avagamane even though this dhatu is a list of exceptions anudatta dhatu in the case of lit the kradinya maha rules so we still allow it agamaha so after 7 to 35 7 to 10 would have applied in the case of lit 7 to 13 finally makes the decision to allow Viragamaha. In the absence of 7 to 13, we would have, would have been blocked by 7 to 10. So this is the way you go. So 7 to 35 first check is the Pratyavaladi. Does it have Sanya Ardhatukam? Okay. Viragama Prapta. Viragama wants to come. Then check 7 to 10. See, look at that list. And look at see if it's Ajanta Dhatu, Halanta Dhatu, what is the situation? You know. And then because remember Ajantas, most of them are going to be Anudattaha. Exceptions are Udatta in the list. Halantas, most of them are Udatta. Anudatta is the exception list. In the case, and then finally you see the any more specific detailed rules for your situation. So here we start with 7 to 35. We went to 7 to 10. We're going to block the Ragamaha because Dhatu Buddha Vagarma is in the list of exceptions. It's Anudatta. But then came 7 to 13 and said that this is a lit Pravagaha. So Kradi Bhya Eva Inyasyat. Only after Kradi, no, it's so finally Ragamaha is allowed. And we get the Abhyasa Karyam, of course. And then because of the Pratya is Kit, Asinyuga, Lit Kit. So Kinitsha stops the Puganta Lagupata Sacha, you get Bubudhishe. Now in Gita, Anushushruma in chapter one of Gita, Arjuna has used Prayogaha in, in Pratham in the Uttar Purusha lit. As I said, this is some of the joke is that some of the commentators have said that Arjuna forgot his Vyakaranam. <laughs> Arjuna forgot his Vyakaranam. He used <laughs> Uttar Purusha lit. Uttar Purusha means I did something and I never experienced it. The lit. So it is it is very difficult to use <laughs> lit in Uttam Purusha. He's saying I did something, but I was not there. I was my mind was not there. So <laughs> so it is like that. Anyway, but in Gita you look at this Anushushtuma, look at the Iragamaha. There's no Iragamaha. Why? Because the Dhatu Shu is in this list of Kradinyamaha. Krusru Bru Bru Stu Dru Shru Shuvoliti. <coughs> so therefore, this Dhatu Shru will not take Idagamaha. So they will, will not I am sorry, excuse me, will not allow Idagamaha. Will not allow Idagamaha. Will, will not allow the Pratya to Idagamaha. So we have Shru plus lit in usual steps, Rubanda Lopaha, get the Pratya Mas, Pratya Uttam Purusha Bhuvachanam, and then we uh, we get the Muadeshaha. Because in the place of must you get the mo adesha aneka sarvasya. And then what happens is that the Karadi Niyamaha finally says that these eight dhatus, these eight dhatus, actually even by seven to ten, Iragama is already stopped. Eka chupasinudat. But in lit we have to check seven to thirteen. 
was only these eight. So even though like in Dhatu Buddha Avagamane, we just saw that. That was also there was also Anudatta by seven to ten, but seven to thirteen allowed it. So Dhatu Shru is Anudatta, and seven to by by, so by seven to ten would have been star, but seven to thirteen has to be checked for lit because only these eight don't, don't allow Vidagamaha, the crew, etc. So this Dhatu Shru is in that list. So we stop Vidagamaha. Apko the Pratya Mo is Asinuga lit kit. This is a kit Pratya, so there's no Guna Desha possible anyway. Uh, by Kiniticha, if you do Abhyasa Karyam, Haladishya, Shushrama, Anu Shushrama, Upasarga, Anu. If you look at this table here, again, thank you for Radha for making this table. So, when we looked at that, Vrit, this now same thing, Vrit, is there any, any, is there any Dhatu in Tanteshu? There's no Dhatu, Tanteshu is not there. Um, you know, so every Dhatu ending in Takaraha is Udatta. Because after Janteshu, we went to Danteshu. So, cha cha ja ja nya, ta tha da dha nya. So, so, after Jakarantam, we went to Dakaranta Dhatavaha. So, all, so, in the Takaranta list, there is nothing there. There are no exceptions. So, every Dhatu, in Dhatu Patha, ending a Takara, Ekach, is Udattaha. So, Vrit Dhatu Udattaha, and Vrit is also not in the list of Kradi list. So, Iraga Maha comes in, in these forms, Vavriti. There is nothing special here. So wherever the pratyaya is Valadi, you get the Idagamaha. Vavriti Mahe, Vavriti Vahe. Same thing we saw in the for the Dhatu Buddha in this form Bhubudhishe, Bhubudhidve, Bhubudhi Vahe, Bhubudhi Mahe. We get the Idagamaha. Okay. Now we'll do time is running out as usual. Let's do one, let's do two more rules if you give me ten minutes. Is that Let's look at this one sutra. We're going to skip these two because time is running out today. I want to take this this one though. So let's look at these two last for today. Okay. So Sharpurva Kaya. Look at the number. 7461. What is 7460? Haladishesha. Haladishesha. In the Abhyasa. A consonant hal can stay only if it's the first member. So this sutra, Sharpurva Kaya. Let's look at it. This is Apuvada for Haladishesha. So by this time you're getting, I hope you're getting more and more confidence in looking up these rules, not feeling so scared to, to open the Ashtadhyayi, look at the Vritti. That's the purpose of this class. In the class you cannot do every sutra, but give you enough confidence to explore on your own. Sharpurva Khayaha is an Apavala Faladishyeshaha. What it says is that Abhyasasya, Sharpurva Khayaha. What is Shar? Sha, Sha, Sar. These three letters. The Taleve Shakara, Udanya Shakara, Dante Sakara. Then what is Khai? Kha, Pha, Cha, Ta, Cha, Cha, Ta, Ta, Ka, Pai. Means the Pratama Varana, Vitya Varana. It includes Kha, Kha, Cha, Cha, Ta, 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 and the, you know, Pha, Pha. Because Kha, Pha, Cha, 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 Ta, Ta, and Ka, Pai. So Kha, Pha, Cha, Ta, Ta, Cha, Ta, Ta, Ka, Pai. Which means the first two letters of the Varana. Um, so if you have a sharpurva, if you have a sharkai conjunct, then what happens is that the kai will stay behind the shar which would have stayed, which, which would have survived. That will be dropped. So one more time. Is the sharpurva kaya shishyante anye halo lupyante. So in abhyasaha, if it begins with a sharkai conjunct, Shar means the, the, the conjunct, the first member is the either the sh, sh, or sa. Second member is a kai letter. Means letter which is ka, kha, cha, cha, ta, tha, ta, tha, and pa, pa. Then what happens is that so conjunct whose first letter is the shar and second letter is kai, then the second letter kai survives and the first one, the shar, is removed. In fact, all other hulls are removed, so the Kai survives, all other including that first Shar is removed. This is Apavada for Haladi Shesha. Haladi Shesha says a consonant in Abhyasa will survive only if it's the first member. But here, if that first member is a Shar, in a conjunct with a second member which is Kai, then the Kai will survive. And others will go away. If you take a Dhatu example, you take 
Of course, the shtab, the dhatva, the shasaha, it becomes a sakaraha. Then the paribhasha, the mitta, paya, the mitta, syapya paya. The shunashtu is reversed. We end up with stha. Because when the, when the mudanya shakara goes, the takara reverts back to a takara. We've had this before in the examples. So we get stha. Now we do the usual thing. We do pratham purusha ek, vachana when we do. It's always the same steps. Litlakara, nubandha lopaha. Tip pratyaha, tip becomes null by 73482, null, null, etc. Then, ata we get au. Now, abhyasa karyam, because we have reached, we should not do vridhir echi, that has to wait. Durvachan echi says, first do the abhyasa karyam, durvachan echi, so we first do stha stha au. Now, in the abhyasa, the sakara is the adi actually. But it's in a con it's a shar letter in a conjunct with the kai letter following, because the thakara is a kai, so the thakara remains, sakara goes away. So it's apovada for the shesha. If there's a shar kai conjunct at the beginning, the kai will remain, will survive, will not take lopaha. The others, which means the beginning shar also will take lopaha. Then of course we get the rasvaha, pradhirechi. Abhyasa church become tasthau, tasthau. So the abhyasa, the thakara remains, sakara is gone. Okay, we got five minutes, four minutes. <laughs> Give me time to do one sutram. I'm sorry, we have a class only twice a month. This is a very important sutram. We'll revise it again next time. Let me start it today and we'll stop the class today. We'll do these two next time, okay? This for homework. Take this two for homework. 6478-7469. Let's take this one. Six four one twenty. Atta ek halmadhe na de shade liti. Important sutram, not in Bhagavad Gita, so no Gita examples. But Atta ek halmadhe na de shade liti. Very complicated sutram. Lin nimitta de shadikam nabhavati. Yadangam. Tadavayavasya sanyukta halmadjastas yata. Eight. Okay. Says that if you have a akara of a dhatu, of an angam really, which is which doesn't have a conjunct on either side. So it is ek hal madhye. Ek hal madhye means a sanyukta hal madhyastha akaraha. Let's take an example. Take a dhatu pata, which is patlar gatau. Now pata. We have an akara in between there. There is no conjunct on either side. It's, it's a sandwich between two non-conjunct consonants. So, pakara, akara, taka. It's the first condition. Then, anade shadir, liti. In lit prayoga, if there's going to be no adesha for the adi hal in the abhyasa, if there's no if that, if that, in this case, pakaraha of pat, if it does not take any adesha in the abhyasa, see abhyasa adesha mostly comes by kuhosh chuhu and abhyase charcha, which is 7462 and 8454. That will not apply in this case. So, those are the two rules mainly which do the, which do the adesha. The adesha should be based on the lit pratyaya, okay. Let's see if we have the dhatu we just saw, which is shta. <coughs> there we have, we take, you know, take a dhatu like num. Let's take this dhatu very quickly. Now there we have dhatu adesha saha and no naha. So in that case, see, there is an adesha in place of num becomes num by no naha. But that's not lin nimitta adesha. Nothing to do with lit at all. So there is an adesha. What I'm talking about is that, that adi hal should not take an adesha based on the lit pratyaya. Any other adesha is okay. So if you take a dhatu, I'm talking about a dhatu like, let's take a dhatu nam. This dhatu nam. Nama pravratve shabdecha. Dhatu nam, you do have a akara, which is sandwich between two non-conjunct consonants. But dhatu is, in dhatu pata is nam, nakaradi. This nakara is the adi hal of the dhatu. So that will take an adesha by 6465. 
no na sorry 6165 by no na ha but that is not a lin nimitta adesha nothing to with lit so that is okay that does not debar 64120 64120 only requires that there should be no adesha in place of that adi hal which is a lin nimitta adesha means mainly 7462 kuhoshchu and 8454 abhyase charcha but if you apply sutram like this one which is no naha this is not anything to do with lit at all so so that is okay that will not debar 64120 so let's finish 64120 let's look at this example it says that and the pratyaya should be either kit should be a kit pratyaya so asanyoga lit kit not a kit pratyaya a 6412 doesn't apply so 64120 say there should be a there should be an angam which has a akaraha which has a non conjunct hal on either side is the should be lit pratyaya should be following second condition third condition is that there should be no adesha in place of the adi hal and adesha which is based on lit pratyaya mainly kuhoschu and abhyase charcha and lastly the pratyaya should be kit or it should be kit should be kit then what does this sutram do when all these conditions are satisfied it says etvam abhyasa lopascha the abhyasa takes lopa and in place of the akara the madhyavarti akara this etvam ekara adesha and these two ha happen simultaneously so there is abhyasa lopa and the akara becomes ekara when all these conditions satisfied one more time what are the conditions there should be a akara and either side is a hal which is not conjunct the pratyaya following is lit it's a kit pratyaya and not only that the last condition is that the adi hal has should, should not be taking any adesha which is based on the lit pratyaya mainly 7462 kuhoschu and 8454 abhyasa charcha basically it means that the special abhyasa effect should not be lost there should be no special abhyasa effect on that adi hal should not be lost okay we'll take this more next time to do the example which is take the form peto ho pat pusha bahuvachanam se dhatu patlur of course upadesh jana nasika it upadesh jana nasika it pat plus lit anubandha lopaha pratyaya g g becomes us by prasipadanam nal atus us and by navivakta utusmaha sakara will not be an it then abhyasa karyam pat pat us now we should do haladi sheshaha first make it pa pat because if you don't do haladi sheshaha right now we have takara pakara conjunct here <coughs> that will create a problem so do haladi sheshaha first make it pa pat us now we have an akara in between here pa pakara akara takara it is it, it is it is sandwiched between two consonants which are not conjunct neither neither, neither one is conjunct neither one is conjunct so ek hal madhya and then pratyaya following is a lit pratyaya it's a kit pratyaya of asanyoga lit kit and there is not going to be any special adesha in place of the pakara so therefore we do abhyasa lopam abhyasa lopah etvam abhyasa takes lopah and we get the ekara adesha becomes petuh so we will we'll do this next time again and uh, for homework for homework the sutrams which are which you will take the, the the sutrani so we didn't have time today for these two we'll take it next time look at 6478 7469 nine for dhatu in gatau this one is for for in gata only this is for abhyasa sya savarne so anyway take this for homework 6478 7469 then take this opens up a section by the way 64120 opens up a section so take try for homework uh, 64126 64122 and 64124 and then we are going to do next time if we have time you can look at anuprayoga lit so for that the homework is like darshayamas ashwasayamas so 
Next time homework, look from 3135 to 3140. Okay, just try to do these 3135 to 3140. Okay, let's stop with that. Ramo Rajamanis Sada Vijayate Ram. Om Ramesham Vajay Ramena Vyata Nishachar Shamu Rama at the Smain Maha Rama Nasti Parayanam Prataram Rama Sedasos Nyaham Rame Chitale Sadav Hotame Borama Mamutara Rama Rame Ti Rame Ti Rame Rame Mano Rame Sarasanamatatulyam Rama Nama Varana Neshri Rama Nama Varana on the Maiti. This is January 14th. Again, Makara Sankramana Sankramana. Today was an important lesson. We made our Sankramanam into the section of Inishedha. Not only that, today we saw this wonderful thing which Kalpesh and Ravi etc. have put together for us, which is this Ashtadhyayi over here. We can put our own notes over here. The next class will be on Jan 28. We will come back for, uh, yes, thank you, Yona. You have to, thank you. We will come back in 15 minutes for Ramayana. We will come back in 15 minutes for Ramayana class. We will come back in 15 minutes. Ravi, you're okay, Ravi? Yes, Satish. Okay. Namaskar, I will come back in 15 minutes. Hurry up. The organ.